and welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com, how to make Damascus steel for knife making. Now Damascus steel is actually layers of different types of metals uh, that are hammer welded together and then when you grind uh, the knife to shape and acid etch that blade, um, the different materials come out in designs or, or lines. The look that we're going for is not is a subtle look. Uh, we're not looking for the in-your-face uh, type of Damascus. We're looking more towards uh, the samurai sword looking uh, Damascus where you can just barely see uh, the, the layer lines. Now we're going to start with a couple of different materials. We're going to use a high carbon steel at 1050 and also at 1095. Uh, I went to my friend uh, Jason Northgard's uh, metal shop and he welded together the first four pieces and also attached them to a rod that he can use to, uh, you know, to insert this, Shiny. this metal or the steel into his forge. The principle here is to heat up the billet of materials and then hammer weld them together so that they become one unit. He's going to use uh, borax flux um, multiple times. This is a very repetitive pro uh, process. He's going to go to his, uh, his automatic hammering machine and he's going to start to hammer weld the billet. Once the material is hammer welded together, he will also start to form it. And he's basically drawing it out so that it's going to end up with a long, uh, flat piece of steel. And the plan is to fold that over multiple times in order to create uh, the Damascus. Here he's adding a little bit more of the flux. Get rid of any impurities and help uh, the different layers bond together. Now this actually can be done by hand, you know, with a sledgehammer and a forge, uh, but certainly much, much easier with an automatic hammering machine. This is going to be the first bend. Uh, so we started out with four layers of steel. Uh, once this is hammer welded, this is going to end up with eight layers. And whenever it loses its uh, temperature, it goes back into the forge. Now you see uh, a lot of sparks coming out of the hammering machine. Uh, that happens whenever there's an, uh, an airspace in between the layers. Once the material gets, gets fused or welded together, those sparks reduce greatly. And he's going to stamp both sides and he's going to draw out the material again. And he's going to repeat the process multiple, multiple times. He's going to add more flux. He's going to add it back into the furnace. Get it hot again, hot enough to work with. Now the one thing with Damascus is once he's finished with the steel, it's not immediate satisfaction. You're not going to instantly see the grains that you're looking for or the, or the layer marks that you're looking for. Uh, you won't see those until after you uh, shape the knife into the desired shape and actually grind it down and then acid etch it. This is the next fold, so we've now gone from 8 layers to 16 layers of steel. And that billet again is going to go back into the furnace after it gets a good coating of the uh, borax flush, uh, flux. And then it's going to be hammer welded together, fused together. Jason makes it look easy, but this entire process took quite, you know, quite a bit of time. Real art to it. Once again, drawing the material out, and he wants to end up basically with a long, flat piece of steel that can be easily folded. Another way of making uh, the layers is to actually cut that piece. So after, after the material is drawn out, 
he's got the desired size and, and shape that he wants, he can actually grind that um, in half and then stack it. It's just another way of doing it. I'm just going to use a grinder. Chop off a piece and then he's going to stack it right up on top of the existing piece. Those two pieces will have to get welded together before they go back into the furnace. And that just holds them together until it can uh, eventually be uh, hammer welded or fused together. So we were at, we were at 16 and now we're at 32 different layers of material and of course each one of those layers is now paper thin and that's the whole principle once you start to grind that knife um, and give it give it an edge grinding through uh, each of those different layers um, on an angle and you're going to end up with the lines with the layer lines once you're all done finished piece of Damascus steel is not very impressive looking at all. Uh, like I said before, this still has to be ground down, it has to be shaped into a knife, it has to be sanded and polished, um, and then you really don't see the, uh, the marks, the layer marks, or the, or the real Damascus uh, marks, until you dip it in muriatic acid. So this is the basic uh, steel that we ended up with, it ended up with enough to make two uh, Damascus knives going to cut them out just like we would any other knife project. Grinding wheels, and disc grinders, and belt sanders, etc. And once they're completely shaped, we're going to drop it in a bucket of muriatic acid. Now depending on how strong that acid is, it could only, only needs about 10 minutes or so if the acid's new and probably 30 minutes if it's, uh, if it's older acid. And once you take it out, then you've got the dull Damascus uh, steel. And you can see all of those different uh, layers of steel, those very distinct, very characteristic Damascus marks. Here's one of the knives that we finished. Uh, the actual Damascus knives are going to be a separate video. Uh, please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos. And if you like this video, I ask that you please subscribe to this YouTube channel. A special thanks to my friend Jason Northgard for the use of his metalworking shop.